Good morning and welcome to Falcon TV News Today. It is Monday, February 8th, 2021. I'm Ken, along the rest of the FTV crew. Both local and natural sports have been off their schedules, but the football, while having been impacted by the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, such as the cancellation of the all preseason pre games and the 2021 Pro Bowl, along with a greatly reduced audience or no fans at all, and the postponement and rescheduling of multiple games due to COVID-19. Despite everything, all 256 regular season games were played within the original 17-week span with no cancellations. That said, Sunday's game was an exciting one. Second and nine. Able to escape. Sue is on him. Misses him. Pass off the hands of Robinson. Wow, what a play. Into the pass on third down tonight. Can he do it this time? Reverse his course. He's all the way back at the 30. Barrett is on him. Heaves it before the whistle. And Pringle has it in his hands. They rule it incomplete. Again, running for his life. Mahomes got it away. Incomplete. White knocks it down. The team that began everything on September 10th, and although winning the opening game against Houston, the Chiefs couldn't end the same way, and Tampa Bay won the day in the big game. And even though COVID threw in some hurdles, but through it all, the game delivered and ended the season well, unless you're a Kansas City fan. Today is Black History. Well, well, keep the sports theme and look at Jesse Owens. He set three world records to tie another, all in less than an hour at the 1935 Big Ten track meet, a feat that has never been unique and has been called the great 45-minute every in sports. He achieved international fame, winning four gold medals and the most successful athlete at the games. He was credited with single-handedly crushing Hiller's mouth of irony super handsome. Today, the Jesse Owens Award is U.S. track highest accolade ac for the year's best track and field athlete. Continuing with a look at our custodian appreciation, we look at Maria Guzman. Maria looks after the middle and upper 200 wings, quiet and methodical. She makes certain all areas and spot are spotless and sparkling. So Maria, thank you for all your hard work. Today is Magical Monday, folks, so we hope everyone is in the spirit of the week. Remember that this week and next are a little shorter due to the long four-day weekend, thanks in part to all our presidents. Snow school this Friday and next Monday. In an epic cleanup effort, volunteers removed the trash from the Tennessee River, one of the dirtiest rivers in the country. Over the course of the three days, volunteers will keep the Tennessee River beautiful and Johnsonville State Historic Park rid of the river over 9,000 pounds of trash. The team led another cleanup in October when they collected nearly 5,000 pounds of trash. The Tennessee River is 652 mile tributary of the Ohio River and notoriously polluted. In 2019, researchers said that the river was more like a river of plastic, possibly with more broken down bits of plastic than any other river in the world, and there is still more to be cleaned. The team is planning another event in April and aims to collect 100,000 pounds of trash from the river by the end of the year. So that's all for today. So for me and everyone at Falcon TV, thank you for watching and have a great day.